the flu shot, the flu shot. Uh, have you, are you tired of hearing about how important it is that you, your wife, your kids, your toddlers get the flu shot because it's flu season when we have to be protected and to keep everybody safe. I've even heard an ad saying, get your flu shot to protect others. That's a brand new invention of the last couple of uh, years of uh, incessant fake propaganda. But this is an article which I have actually a whole video on it, on this article and a, a, a CNN article about certain <coughs> during the magic uh, grand uh, <clears throat> production, theatrical production of the last two years, three years. But this is article uh, was written and published in the New York Times. Yeah, so obviously it is <laughs> certified <laughs> from you know, uh, reliable sources here, but it is actually a good article. And it has been written by doctors, Peter Doshi and Dr. Eric Topol. And um, so there's a little description of who they are. Here it is. Dr. Doshi is an associate professor at the University of Maryland School of Pharmacy. Dr. Topol is a professor of molecular medicine at Scripps Research. So they're not nobodies. They're not some guy on YouTube. And a bit more on Peter Doshi here. He's the senior editor at the British Medical Journal, which is one of the oldest. Um, so, um, and in the news and uh, news and views team based in Baltimore. So he is Dr. Peter Doshi is based in Baltimore. He's also associate professor of pharma, 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 pharmaceutical health services research at the University of Maryland School of Pharmacy. Anyways, I'm not going to go through all his uh, credentials here. You can read it yourself if you want. And Dr. Topol, uh, again, he's a phys uh, he's most information phys physician executive of the U.S. executive in the U.S. in modern healthcare's 2012 poll. That doesn't matter. Polls don't matter. But what is his real qualification? So he works on a gene genomic and wireless digital innovative technologies to reshape the future of medicine. He is a practicing cardiologist as the Scripps in La Jolla, California, and is widely credited for um, credited for Cleveland Clinic's status as the leading center for heart care. So again, not a not a nobody. So we have Dr. Topol and Dr. Uh, uh, Peter Doshi. Um, uh, here we go. I can do that. Here we go. And anyways, so they wrote this article in twenty. 20 um september 22nd in the new york times we're not going to cover what it talks about this other thing but we're going to talk about the flu vaccine did you get your shot did you get your shot are you protected you gotta you know the kids going back to school they're in school it's flu season it's winter time they're gonna get the flu you gotta give them the flu shot to protect them and you know well, is this truth based on real science or is it propaganda uh, from the pharmaceutical industry to sell flu shots, a great money generating endeavor, which they can go pump out year after year after year, telling people it's going to protect you from the flu. I personally have never in my entire life taken the flu shot. Uh, I grew up uh, well until I was like 15, 16 in the Middle East. Never heard of such a thing. What do you mean flu shot? People did get the flu, <laughs> but flu shot? What? What is? What is this thing? Anyways, and of course, obviously now I'm a lot older than sixteen, and I've never in my entire life taken the flu shot. Shot, and I've had the flu very, very rarely. Uh, neither has my mother, and she took decided a few years back, maybe ten years ago. Her doctor said, "Well, hey, maybe you should take the flu shot." So that was the one and only time she took her flu shot. And for the entire winter, she was sick with the flu from the flu shot. Coincidence? Maybe. I don't know. But anyways, um, but this is the part of the article about the influenza vaccines. A YouTube, this is two doctors published in the New York Times about a traditional vaccine, the influenza vaccines, the flu shot. This is the case. So here's the, the, the part of the article. This is the case after they talk about the other stuff. This is the case with influenza vaccines. 
which what do they do? They reduce the actual disease? No. The risk. The risk of what? Severe disease and people going to hosp hospitalizations and death? No. What do the influenza vaccines do? They reduce the risk of what? Mild, mild disease. In old and frail people? No. In healthy adults. That is, so they, re so if you're a healthy adult, uh, so if you get the flu vaccine, they may reduce the risk of a mild flu. <laughs> That's it. Not even a strong one. That is what the flu vaccines do. But there is no solid evidence that they reduce the number of deaths. Actually, with the uh, the article, the the research they linked to from JAMA uh, Journal of American Medical Association Journal Internal Medicine, um, so they linked to that uh, study. It, it's actually that study does not see there is no solid evidence that they reduce. There is actually no avid evidence. And maybe even a con an opposite <laughs> correlation. Anyways, there is no solid evidence that they reduce the number of deaths. So, which occur largely among the older people. So, this flu vaccine, what does it do? It may reduce the risk of a mild disease in healthy adults who can take it anyways, <laughs> who don't don't really need it. But there, and there is no solid evidence, there is actually no evidence, as you will see, that they reduce the number of deaths, which occur largely among who? The old people and the frail people. It has zero effect on that. In fact, in fact, significant increases in vaccination rates over the past decades. So they wrote in 19, uh, so you'll see the, the, the increase in decades from the, and from the 19, uh, 60s up to 2020 have not been associated with the reduction of deaths. I wonder if this opens up to the same article. Let's have a look here. Is the same article or not? Let's see. Yeah, I, th I believe it is the same one. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same article I was just gonna talk about. So, uh, so this is this is from the two doctors, Dr. Peter Doshi and Dr. Eric Topol. And here's the article, the research they linked to. So it is originally published in 2005, February. But the facts, since these doctors are writing in 2020, the facts have not been changed. It's still the same story. Impact of influenza vaccination on seasonal mortality in the U.S. elderly population. But actually, you'll see what happens. So it, the researchers is PhD, PhD, PhD at all. So there are a whole bunch of PhDs there. So the abstract. So basically, the story is that uh, only between 15 to 20 uh, percent of people were 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 uh, vaccinated with the flu vaccine uh, before 1980, between 15 and 20 percent, and uh, 60 up to 60 uh, before 98, and in by 2001 it was 65 percent, and I'm guessing today it's as much higher than 65 percent of the population, especially the older population. They explain their method and then the results. I mean, this whole art, uh, research paper, there's they give the the method and the statistics and what they research. In. So if you want to go sit there and read it for an hour and research it, you can do that. But let's get to the to the to the to the conclusion, the results and the conclusion. The results. What were the results of this study, which Drs. Peter Doshi and Eric Topol referred to? The results are that people aged 65 to 74 years old, excess mortality rates for people in this age group for the excess mortality rates from one of the uh, uh, variant. <laughs> In uh, influenza A, uh, fell fell between 1968 to early to the early 80s. So it fell from 1968 to the early 80s when only 15 percent of the population was getting vaccinated. Now they attribute this to maybe people built up an immunity from uh, another influenza uh, uh, 
pandemic in the past. Maybe that's the reason. They're taking a guess here. Uh, so it fell. So it fell when the only 15 to 20 percent of the people were getting vaccinated with the flu shot. Uh, only it fell between 68 and early 80s. But so when when 64 percent, probably 75 percent by now, or even more, uh, are taking it. But so since then, but remained approximate. But so since the early 80s, but remained approximately constant thereafter. So until 19 to 2020, it is remained constant. So, so it says here for persons 85 years or older, so even the even more vulnerable people, more vulnerable, the mortality rate remained flat throughout. So from before 1968 through the 80s, through 2020, basically, I mean, it's obviously it didn't change. Uh, it remained flat. The mortality rate remained flat. So the increase in vaccination rates for the influenza virus didn't do much, apparently. Well, obviously. So what is their conclusion? Uh, the conclusion is, so that's why what I told you. They attribute the, the reduction in mortality after 1968 uh, to uh, acquisition of immunity by being actually infected to, uh, to the emergent, emerging A virus. Um, we could, now that is the conclusion now, we could not correlate increasing vaccination coverage after 1980 with declining mortality rates, since we see that they did not actually in any age group. We could not correlate increasing vaccination coverage after 1980 with declining mortality rates in any age group. Young, old, middle-aged, teenagers, it made no difference. And, and as I said here, the mortality remained flat throughout for the over, over 85s. And, uh, and excess mortality for the B, B uh, influenza B, did not change. So what is, again, their final conclusion is, we conclude that observational studies, which a lot of people refer to, you know, you got to take your flu shot because, you know, observational studies say that, substantially overestimate vaccination benefits. And actually, apparently, according to this, there are, for mortality, for there is no benefit since nothing changed nothing changed and for old for young for all age groups so in any in any age group so and uh, as doctors so this is the con conclusion of this study done in 2005 by a bunch of phds published in the journal of american uh, the the Journal of American Medical Association, um, and uh, so this is it. So now we have Doctors Peter Doshi and Eric Topol in 2020, which I did talk about this article for other reasons, but it did actually prove the fact that your flu vaccine, your shot, your influenza shot, get the shot, get the kids have the, the influenza shot, get the flu shot, get the flu shot, you know, protect yourself, protect others, get the flu shot. The question you must, must ask them is, why? What is the benefit to me? Oh, so it might reduce the risk of a mild flu if I'm in a healthy adult. But how about my uh, little healthy kids? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. How about my not so healthy you know grandparents it doesn't do anything okay so what's the point really uh something to think about don't you think anyways i and this is like that's my public service announcements for public service an announcement for all you people who watch this channel so do you like the video subscribe press the bell button comment and if you can find some other research which contradicts this real research, not observational studies, not, not talking points from government agencies, 
people are financed by the pharmaceutical industry, but actual real studies, eh, you can put them in the comments and uh, people are going to have a little nice little discussion. So that said, that's all. Hope you enjoyed this video. So uh, am I going to get my flu shot this year? I never have and never will. That's it. That's all. And see you next time. Bye-bye.